This is the dulcimer, like the banjo, this is an American instrument. It comes from the Appalachian Mountains, tuned like a, like bagpipes. We're going to do a song from a sort of fundamentalist Christian revival time, but that happened back in the late, very late 1700s in this country and in the forest of the frontier. They would have camp meetings where people would come, they'd bring their whole households and camp out to get the Spirit of the Lord moving within you, uh, sometimes for three weeks. And folks would develop the shakes, and uh, when the Spirit of the Lord started moving within them. Uh, in fact, one woman shook for three days. They had to sit on her, apparently, to, uh, I don't know, keep her from shaking away. At any rate, we have some wonderful songs that come from this period of time that echo the images of these frontier forests and the rivers. And this is the best known. 1790s. The frontiers and forest of America. I'm just a poor wayfarer and stranger, traveling through this world of woe. There's no sickness, toil, or danger in that fair. I'm going there to see my mother. I'm going there no more to roam. I'm just a going over Jordan. I'm just a I'm just a woman over home. My father lived and died a farmer, a reaping lesson than he. And I will follow in his footsteps A knowing less than he does know I'm going there to see my father said he'd be there 
song that is hundreds and hundreds of years old that is still quite popular in this country came over with the pilgrims and was sung in the early settlements certainly around the campfires of the American Revolution all the way up through the well, Civil War it's one of the first songs that Abraham Lincoln remembers his mother singing to him. The ancient, classical English ballad, broadside ballad, Barbary Ellen. And 
Sayın Sereşi Dünü Tüzme Young men I think you're dying Here's to wait And all for me, Gabriel, no pretty maiden, pity me, for I'm on my deathbed lying. Oh, didn't you kin, young man, said she, what all in the tavern drinking, a toast Give to the ladies all, but you slighted Barbara Ellen. Oh, yes, I can, I can do well. When in the tavern drinking a toast, I gave. But my love to Barbarian But lightly tripped she down the stairs And he quivered like an aspen Over oh, Out on the green, green field. She heard the death bell nailing, and every turn it seemed to say, Hard hearted Barbara Ellen. Look east and her eyes look west. She saw his pale corpse coming. Oh, Paris, Paris, let him down that I might look upon him. But the more she looked, the more she. Until she burst out crying Oh, Barbers, Barbers, take him now For I am also dying Father, Father, go take my grave Make it both long and Oh, sweet William died for me today I'll die for him tomorrow She was buried in the old churchyard And William grave was nigh her, and from his breast grew roses red, but from her heart a briar, they grew and grew.
and twine themselves in a true love's knot. The red rose and the briar. I sing a lot of songs that are directly related to history. But there are those songs that were always in the background, the, the pop songs of the day. Just like pop songs of now, they could be really silly. Now, the one I'm going to sing for you, it's, it's actually a couple hundred years old before it even came to these shores in the 1790s. Then it echoed all around the music halls of New York and Philadelphia. Uh, Philadelphia, by the way, was where... Meriwether Lewis was studying up for the Lewis and Clark expedition. Uh, so you know that that song was going through his head. Makes you wonder if it didn't echo from some of those campfires up along the Missouri River and all the way over to the Pacific Coast. And George Washington loved to dance. Oh yeah. And was known for being a beautiful dancer. So even in his later years, you know that this song is ringing through his head, too. You might even know it. another song, uh, an American song. The music, Samuel Ward, 
New Jersey, right around the turn of the last century, 1900. Uh, musician, had a music store, and was inspired by a passage in the Bible, O oh, Dear Mother Jerusalem, to write a musical piece, a tune. And he published it. Just a little bit later, a lady from the East Coast, but visiting friends out in the Rocky Mountains, Catherine Lee Bates, writes a poem as she's sitting up on Pike's Peak overlooking the country. And the people put the tune and the poem together. There was even a, a contest in 1926 to see what would be. There are over 900 entries of music, but it was decided, no, it was this Materna, Samuel Ward. Nobody knows if they really met each other. They probably never did. But we're talking about a folk song again, at least in my book. is great. 
face on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood.